time I was praying, yeah, and I kind of stumbled upon this verse from Lamentations 3, verse 24. And it says, I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. Therefore, I will hope in him. And it just made me wonder, the Lord is my inheritance. Do you know what that means? I don't really think like as I'm talking to you people now that I, I completely understand it. Like my brain is still trying to grasp the full meaning. What exactly does it mean to inherit the king of the universe? You inherited that created you and your mother and your father and all your friends and siblings and created every single thing you see. You inherit the person that is the reason why you are alive and breathing. I, the Lord, is my inheritance. Is the Lord your inheritance today? Wow. But then it makes sense. If Jesus can say, my spirit lives in you, you should learn to live like Christ. He sent his advocates to be with us, to guide us. I mean, all that supports this, that the Lord is my inheritance. In our world now, people that is to inherit something are people that... <laughs> Either is maybe by birthright, like maybe you're the first son, or child you are in the lineage, and maybe if the first son is not available, maybe you're the second son, if the second son is not available, you're the third son, you know, things like that. And it is good, you know, it's property, it's money, businesses that people inherit. But you inherit the Lord. The Lord is your inheritance. The king of the universe is your inheritance. I I don't know if it's only me that this thing is blowing my mind. <laughs> Like it's blowing my mind. What? The Lord is your inheritance. And that is all I have to say. Bye.